I remember holding the last rejection letter in my room and just thinking, God, where are you? Where are you calling me to be? I, this is not the plan that I had intended. This is not what I wanted. Hi, my name is Caitlin Alpettis. I would say Jesus rescues me from the plans that I have for myself. And I know that sounds a little strange, but if you know me, you know that I love to plan. I have a backup plan for the backup plan. And if there's anything that I've learned about faith and about life in general, it's that I can plan all I want, but the Lord is the ultimate planner. I'm 22, and it wasn't too long ago that I started to understand that it's God's plans and not mine. I was a senior in high school, and like most seniors, I started applying to different colleges. And in high school, I had a very good GPA, I had great grades, um, did a lot of extracurriculars, and volunteered a lot, and really stayed in line. And then, lo and behold, I started receiving rejection letter after rejection letter after rejection letter. Every single school that I had applied to rejected me. I remember holding the last rejection letter in my room and just thinking, God, where are you? Where are you calling me to be? I This is not the plan that I had intended. This is not what I wanted. I ended up going to community college, which was actually one of the best experiences of my college career. And I remember thinking, okay, God, this is what you want. That's fine. I trust you. But after this, I'm going to move to Hollywood. I'm going to get into the entertainment business. I'm going to become a producer. And do I had all these plans. And then the Lord started presenting me with different opportunities to not do what I wanted. And so I remember just feeling like, why do you want me here instead of here? This is what I want. Why don't you want me there? And in hindsight, looking back, I'm able to see all the different little seeds that the Lord planted that at the time maybe felt like failures, but are actually victories and were actually stepping stones to the place that he really wanted me and to where he was really calling me. And the times that I feel doubt about where I am right now, is God really calling me here? I always remember there were people that God wanted me to meet. There were people that God wanted me to encounter that were here. There was a person that God wanted me to fall in love with. Um, there were relationships that I had that he wanted me to continue to cultivate that I would not have been able to do had I said no to his plans and said yes to mine. And that even when I feel doubtful, even when I feel like, God, I don't know if you're really calling me here. I don't really know if you really want me here. I have to remind myself of Jeremiah 29, 11 that says, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper, not to harm. God doesn't want to harm us. God doesn't want to harm me. And even the plans that I have now to become a wife, to become a mom, to have this career or live here, all those things, if they're not God's plans, I don't want them. And that's the thing I have to surrender every day, the plans that I have made for myself. And it's not easy, but it's also comforting to know that the same God that had my back when I was in high school has my back today. Jesus rescues me from the plans that I have made myself, and he continues to do so every day.